Well, Fedor, congratulations on a great career. I know that things didn't go the way that you wanted them to specifically tonight, but can you talk to me about how you're feeling um, in this moment? Спасибо, чувствую себя хорошо, все замечательно. Ну, ощутимых ударов, ну, как садились, но, скажем, я не терялся. Uh, like I feel great, uh, so he hit me a few times, but I didn't feel anything crazy, and I, I was in consciousness, so I, like I felt everything. I didn't feel much. Was there anything that surprised you when you were out there? I know you've only fought in competition a couple times in recent years. Um, I guess, how did you feel in there when it came time to get in there? Но меня поздно предупредили, что бой будет позже. Я начал разминаться раньше. Ну, это все мелочи. Uh, like basically they warned me a little bit late today, like I was like warming up a little bit late, but it's, it's not important. Uh, uh, like it would, because like I was warming up a little bit earlier, it, like it affected me a little bit, so I have to concentrate myself all over again. Uh, I think uh, Ryan Bader uh, will be uh, Valentin Moldavsky can you know, take him out. And the moment afterwards with all the legends in the cage, it seemed like you really appreciated that, you know, taking pictures with them and reconnecting with some of your old opponents. Um, how much did that mean to you tonight? Знаете, я очень рад, конечно, был всех видеть бойцов, всех легенд. Со многими я из них выступал, многих по некоторым даже учился. Uh, I was really happy to see all these uh, legends, all these fighters, because with some of them I shared the ring, some of them like uh, I just basically was watching them and learning from them. Uh, it, was, it was great that all these fighters came and supported me. And you put your gloves down in the cage afterwards, obviously. Um, are you at peace with that decision? Uh, I feel great. <laughs> Fedor, I know you knew coming in that this was going to be your final fight. So what, what was it that uh, convinced you that you knew that like, this was win or lose, this was going to be the end? Возраст уже, возраст, и но ну, я чувствую, у меня обостряются опять травмы от uh, боя к бою, все время одни и те же вла ну, как вылазит, все сильнее и сильнее. Uh, basically, from I'm getting older, like my age, first of all, and plus all the injuries that I have in past, they like start reminding me about it. Вот, скажем, мой орган, мое тело, мое тело, организм не выдерживает уже тех нагрузок и тех, э, которые я приду, ну тех нагрузок, которые я привык давать. Uh, like my my body doesn't like you know feel the same way as it used to be, so like I cannot take the same pressure as I used to do. Obviously, a, a legendary career. I mean, is there any regrets that you have through your career? Anything you wish you could have done differently in your career? I think I could have beat Ryan Bader. No, 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 no. <laughs> the only thing I could have beat Ryan Bader, but it didn't happen. <laughs> uh, and last thing for me, I guess, how much will MMA be a part of your life now? I know you're going to coach and stuff, but is a small part or a big part? Do you want to be away from the sport? How, how much will MMA be a part of your life? Uh, that's a part of my life, and one of the most important parts of my life. My family and my family and my team. Fedor here. Congratulations on your career. Thank you, sir. You, you referenced uh, not handling pressure. You said it yesterday as well. Are you just talking about the opponent pressure on you and how you hold up to that? What do you mean exactly by pressure? The, the, the training. The training. Camps. So the, the training camps, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, this fight was supposed to happen in Red Square. I mean, that was, that was the plan. How, how do you feel about finishing your career in Los Angeles as opposed to in Moscow where the, it was planned for? Слава Богу, слава Богу, я рад, что я здесь последний раз подрался именно в Америке. Потому что, скажем, изначально Скотт, ну, мы со Скоттом обсуждали, что 
пройдет три боя, один в Японии, другой в России, третий в Америке. Поэтому все так и случилось. Uh, basically, I'm very happy and very excited that it happens here because uh, right from the beginning we were discussing with Scott Coker that uh, it's going to be three fights. One is going to be in Russia, another one is going to be in uh, Japan, and the third one is going to be in United uh, in the United States. So this is exactly how it happens. Okay. And, and lastly, for me, um, you're walking away from competing. You've been one of the most successful fighters in the history of this sport. People are going to wonder if you're walking away uh, as financially secure as you should. Do you feel like you have finished your career in a way that you have what you deserve from your financial perspective? Do people take care of you over the course of your career? Can you talk about this as well? У меня, слава богу, все хорошо. Thanks God, everything is great. Да, а, но деньги такое дело, знаете, оно сегодня и завтра нет, поэтому это, а, как говорится, от суммы от тюрьмы не зарекайся. Вот. Но у меня руки, ноги есть, голова, слава богу. Могу работать. So I can work if I have to. Hey, Fedor, right over here. After all of the rigorous training camps, the knockouts, the wins, the losses, what do you want people to remember most about Fedor Emelianenko above all else? Well, there was a lot of fights, a long career, there were knockouts, there were wins, there were wins. How do you want people to know Fedor Emelianenko? I've already told you that I want people to remember me as a believer, as a believer чтоб а, я принимаю все как есть ну, и победы и поражения все на все слава богу as, uh, as I already mentioned uh, many times I want to be remembered as a orthodox Christian and I take everything as it you know happens like if I win or lose it's with a, you know it doesn't really matter that, that's how it has to happen вот ну хотел бы чтобы помнили еще не ну, вы видели сегодня что весь зал болел слава богу yeah, you saw today, like you know, the whole you know the whole arena was cheering me up. Болел, но я надеюсь, что заслужил эту публику своими своими выступлениями. So I really hope that в клетке. Yeah, I gained my popularity and my fan base based on my action inside the cage. Не трэш локом, не какими-то высказываниями. Not because you know I was doing it like trash talk and like talking bad about my opponents. Fedor, um, uh, congrats on, on a fantastic career. So a uh, couple of questions I, I wanted to, to get out the way here for you. Um, all of these memorable moments that you've been a part of, what stands out the most to you? Вы знаете, наверное, первый бой с Антонио Нагуэрой. I think probably the first fight with Antonio Nogueira. Бой с Мирко Крокопом. Fight with Mirko Krokop. Но вот не знаю почему, мне еще всегда вспоминается бой с Тимом Сильвей. But I don't know why I still remember all the time the the fight with Tim Silva. So, um, I might have you might have answered this a little bit already, but uh, who hit you the hardest? Ты может быть на этот уже немножко отвечал, кто тебя сильнее всего бил, ударял. Даже не знаю. Not sure. <laughs> Как-то в ринге не задумаешься об этом. Они прилетают примерно одинаковые удары. You don't think about it inside the cage because you feel it about the same from, you know, like whenever it comes. Uh, у, у меня тренер был по боксу. I had a trainer, like boxing trainer. В начале моей карьеры он говорил, что, ну, не надо обращать внимание на удары. He said, don't pay attention to the, you know, to punches. Вот. Когда на меня сыпались такие 
Back then it was like like I was getting really hit hard. Don't pay attention. Thanks God, this is how I learned. <laughs> and what what was your uh, your darkest moment throughout your career? What's what's one one moment that stands out to you as, as sort of a low point? Самый самый нехороший момент твоей карьеры, который у тебя как запомнился? Да нет, все хорошо, слава богу. No, not really. And thanks God. Так сейчас все вспоминать. Can't хорошо. really recall anything. Everything was good. Feather. Yes. Um, I would like to. I'm from Brazil. I would like to ask you, how important was for you for your career fighting Big Nog? Minotaro Nogueira three times. How important that was for you? And how would you rank him and your in the list of your toughest opponents? No, Antonio Nogueira, me, прям особенно интересно было выступать. With Antonio Nogueira, it was a special fight and was also like very interesting to me. Очень умный боец. He's very smart fighter. К тому же на тот момент он сильнейших всех прошел. Поэтому я его всегда вспоминаю с таким особенным. Наши поединки с особенным таким, ну, особенно приятным. Hi, Feather. I'm Chris Cyborg. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say, may I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you. I start my career, I watch your fights. You beat everybody like nothing in the ring. And when I watch you fight, it just motivates me. And for sure, everything I do in the ring, because I learn a lot of watching your fights. And I wish the best for you. I'm a big fan, and the best for you for the next chapter of your career and your life. And I wish the best. Спасибо большое. Thank you very much. Очень приятно. Я желаю вам всего самого самого. Very excited. And I wish you all the best. Тоже следим за вашими выступлениями. Вот. И дай Бог вам счастья. Всего самого самого. I wish you to be happy and you know like a lot of happiness. God bless you. I know you're a believer. Fedor, congratulations on a well-documented and well-decorated career. As you make an exit to a respected career, what is the term? What does legacy mean to you, rather, as you make your exit? I'm very happy that I have a team. Чемпионов, да. Я я очень рад, что мне очень приятно, что многие бойцы вот современные современные чемпионы, говорят, что мы выросли на ваших боях. I'm very happy that some of the fighters who are currently champions are talking about me as a, and you know tell, tell, telling me that they you know grew up on my fights. Вот что говорят, что я ну, благодаря вам там пошел, начал заниматься спортом или изменил свою жизнь. Because of you, like I went, you know, to start doing sports, and I changed my life. Вот, но мне всегда было удивительно, когда вот уже даже лет восемь-десять назад ко мне бывало подходили такие бородатые ребята. About like eight or ten years ago, some people with the beards were coming over to me. И говорили, я вырос на ваших боях. And we're talking about like that, you know, they grew up in my fights. И уже тогда я задумался, неужели я такой старый? This is when I start thinking, I'm becoming old. Over here, uh, Fyodor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, first off, congratulations on, on a great and legendary career. Um, today, how could you describe how today was for you emotionally and the thoughts and emotions that were hitting you as you made your last walk uh, to the cage and even when you started your day-to-day -day up until right now? Спасибо, чувствовался хорошо. Thank you, I felt great. Да нет, но так обычно, наверное, были небольшие переживания. I was a little bit worried, but everything went according to plan. Вот, ну все это до разминки. But all of that was before the warm-up. Вот, немножко ноги были ватные, так, ну все, 
Все хорошо. Everything went well. Сначала я спрошу по-русски, потом по-английски. Если я плохо говорю, ваш друг может перевести. Мы знаем, что вы религиозный человек, но завтра ваши именины. А на самом деле уже ваши именины в России. Так что субъективно вы получили от Бога или вашего священника в этой битве в этот конкретный день. So basically the question is that it's today is actually Fedor's name day. It's like a Saint Fedor's day, and we know that you're very religious. So I'm curious if you had any sort of intervention that this was some special date for you to have this particular fight. Ну, мой мой святой в другой день. Мой сент это другой день. А, сегодня, да. Не знаю, я... Слава Богу за все, слава Богу. Thanks God for everything. Не знаю, что ответить. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much. Спасибо вам большое.